powerful and miraculous novena in honor of the Holy Family. Day 4. Persons without families. This novena is intended for all who have become alienated from their families. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Day 4. Persons without families. This novena is intended for all who have become alienated from their families. Add your own personal intentions here. Many people have been victims of families who are not able to live out a real loving commitment to one another. Some have come from unions never blessed with love. Others are children of those who have been victims themselves and were unable to give love. Not having known the love of parents or other special family members, they found themselves part of a cycle that seemed only to turn in on itself. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph Most Kind, bless us now and in death's agony. Grant unto us, Lord Jesus, ever to follow the example of thy holy family, that, in the hour of our death, thy glorious Virgin Mother, together with blessed Joseph, may come to meet us, and we may be worthily received by thee, into everlasting dwellings, who livest and reignest, world without end. Amen. Most loving Jesus, by your sublime and beautiful virtues of humility, obedience, poverty, modesty, charity, patience and gentleness, you blessed with peace and happiness the family which you chose on earth. In your mercy, look upon my family. We belong to you, for we have received your many blessings over many years, and we entrust ourselves to your loving care. Look upon my family in your loving kindness, preserve us from danger, give us help in time of need, and grant us the grace to persevere to the end in imitation of your holy family, so that, having revered you and loved you faithfully on earth, we may praise you eternally in heaven. Mary, dearest mother, to your intercession we have recourse knowing that your divine Son will hear your prayers. Glorious Patriarch, St. Joseph, help us by your powerful prayers and offer our prayers to Jesus through Mary's hands. Amen. Compassionate God, we pray that there be persons who are willing to reach out in love to these victims, to share of their abundance with those who have so little, whether physically, spiritually, or emotionally. Grant to those who feel unloved the grace and gift to see love in another's heart. Give them also the courage to accept that love so that at least one life can break the cycle of unloving. Open the hearts of every family member to realize how special each other family member is so that they never become the source of another's pain. May they rather be guilty of loving too much than not enough. We ask this through the intercession of the family of Nazareth, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, model for all Christian families. Amen.
O Jesus, our most loving Redeemer, who, having come to enlighten the world with thy teaching and example, didst will to pass the greater part of thy life in humility and subjection to Mary and Joseph in the poor home of Nazareth, thus sanctifying the family that was to be an example for all Christian families. Graciously receive our family as it dedicates and consecrates itself to thee this day. Do thou defend us, guide us, and establish amongst us thy holy fear, true peace, and conquered in Christian love, in order that, by conforming ourselves to the divine pattern of thy family, we may be able, all of us without exception, to attain the eternal happiness. Mary, dear Mother of Jesus and Mother of us, by thy kindly intercession, make this our humble offering acceptable in the sight of Jesus and obtain for us his graces and blessings. O Saint Joseph, most holy guardian of Jesus and Mary, assist us by thy prayers in all our spiritual and temporal necessities, that we may be enabled to praise our divine Saviour Jesus, together with Mary and thee for all eternity. O Blessed Virgin, Immaculate Queen of Heaven, Mother of Sorrows, Refuge and Comfort of all the afflicted, kneeling before your throne with all my family, I choose you as our mistress, mother, and advocate with God. I consecrate myself and all belonging to me forever to your service, and I implore you, O Mother of God, to number us among your servants. Take us under your protection, assist us during life, and especially at the hour of death. Mother of Mercy, I choose you as the lady and mistress of my entire household, my parents, my spouse, my children, my cares and my duties. Disdain not to take charge of them and direct everything as seems good to you. Bless us all and permit not that any one of us should ever offend your son. Protect us in temptation, preserve us in danger, help us in trouble, counsel us in doubt, assist us in sickness and especially at the hour of death. Permit not the evil one to boast that any one of us now consecrated to you has ever fallen into his net. Obtain for us the crown of eternal happiness, that we may thank you while praising and loving Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, for all eternity. Amen. God of goodness and mercy, we commend to thy all-powerful protection our home, our family, and all that we possess. Bless us all, as thou didst bless the holy family of Nazareth. O Jesus, our most holy Redeemer, by the love with which thou didst become man in order to save us, by the mercy through which thou didst die for us upon the cross, we entreat thee to bless our home, our family, our household. Preserve us from all evil and from the snares of men. Preserve us from lightning and hail and fire, from flood and from the rage of the elements. Preserve us from thy wrath, from all hatred and from the evil intentions of our enemies, from plague, famine and war. Let no one of us die without the holy sacraments. Bless us, that we may always openly confess our faith, which is to sanctify us, that we may never falter in our hope, even amid pain and affliction, that we may ever grow in love for Thee and in charity toward our neighbor. O Jesus, bless us, protect us. O Mary, Mother of grace and mercy, 
bless us, protect us against the evil spirit. Lead us by the hand through this veil of tears. Reconcile us with thy divine Son. Command us to him that we may be made worthy of his promises. Saint Joseph, reputed father of our Saviour, guardian of his most holy mother, head of the holy family, intercede for us, bless and protect our home always. Saint Michael, defend us against all the wicked wiles of hell. Saint Gabriel, obtain for us that we may understand the holy will of God. Saint Raphael, preserve us from ill health and all danger to life. Holy guardian angels, keep us day and night in the way to salvation. Holy patrons, pray for us before the throne of God. Bless this house, thou, God our Father, who didst create us, thou, divine Son, who didst suffer for us on the cross, thou, Holy Spirit, who didst sanctify us in baptism. May God, in his three divine persons, preserve our body, purify our soul, direct our heart, and lead us to life everlasting. Glory be to the Father, glory be to the Son, glory be to the Holy Ghost. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, being subject to Mary and Joseph, you sanctified family life by your beautiful virtues. Grant that we, with the help of Mary and Joseph, may be taught by the example of your holy family, and may after death enjoy its everlasting companionship. Lord Jesus, help us ever to follow the example of your holy family, that in the hour of our death, your glorious Virgin Mother, together with Saint Joseph, may come to meet us, and we may be worthy to be received by you into the everlasting joys of heaven. You live and reign forever. Amen. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I give you my heart and my soul. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, assist me in my last agony. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, may I breathe forth my soul in peace with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.